your haircut's my feedback. I think this is number 11. Um, we did this with a live stream. I, I, I didn't include the whole live stream and what was going on because a few of you guys said it was kind of distracting. But we still did the live stream while I recorded. So if you're interested in that, you can follow me on Instagram right here. Just hit 20,000 followers on there. So I appreciate it, guys, for the support and stuff. We reviewed 35 haircuts or 36, something like that. This video is long enough. So let's cut to the chase. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> All right, so like I was telling you guys, man, I like how he did this photo. It's not necessary because ultimately this is the picture we want to see, right? Um, somebody pointed out right here. There's a line. I don't. I he's not he's not done yet, right? So he's not done here either. This is where he's done. I wish we'd be able to see this right here when it's done, but when I look at it here, the blend is is pretty good. Like. For some reason, it just, it doesn't look like crazy pro, but it looks good, right? What do you guys think? Yo, Ruben, I don't know where Fetty's at, but I unblocked him, so I showed him love. What do you guys think? This is, this is the photo we want to look at, right? Talk to me. A four and a half out of five? Or four and a half out of ten? Damn, Malik. My man said four and a half out of ten. All right, this the blend is good. I think it's just like the sharpness of the line. I think and the angle of the photo and the beard and the beard and the lighting. Um, I think I think in person it probably looked a lot better, right? All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay. So there's a lot of bulk. You didn't spread spread your blend out enough. And I would say, I would say this, this is what happens. Look, so the guys who don't put enough guideline and still end up with a nice fade, it's because they spent a lot of freaking time detailing, right? More time than normal, more time than necessary, right? And it probably doesn't show up on camera. It probably doesn't show up in their videos. It probably don't show up on their photos, but they spent a lot of time detailing. If you spread your blend, your guidelines out some more, you'll spend a little bit less time detailing. This looks too compressed because you didn't give yourself that inch in, uh, as far as guidelines. So, what do you guys give this? Yo, they're doing point systems on Instagram Live right now. What do you guys give this one? That's what we're going to do. So, I'm not going to show the comments, but I'm going to tell the people on YouTube what Instagram Live gave this out of a 10. So give me give me give me the score. What's what's the score out of a 10? Talk to me. So somebody says six and a half. That's not bad. Somebody said a five. Somebody said a seven. A six. A five. I'm gonna say on average, yo, you getting about a six out of ten. That's pretty crazy. Good job, man. Can't hate on that. Cool. Yo, this is a first of all, this is a good quality photo. I need more quality photos like this. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Cause it's a little far. Whoops. Let's zoom in. All right, we're zoomed in now. Right away, what do you see? You see a little bit of weight right here. Do you guys see that weight? Fade Junkie's in the building. Go follow Fade Junkie. Yo, so you guys see that weight right there? What do you guys give this one right here? I'm going to give this one like a... I'm going to give it a... I got to give it a six. I'll give it a six. A five. You, people are saying five. Some people are saying six. Right here, probably a number two guard would have would have cleaned this up, or maybe the one open using the corners, really good, like kind of feathering. Yo, babe, you're you rating. <laughs> you got too much weight in that one. I just saw, I just saw the wife put a score on my Instagram live stream. Like, like what? What? So she said a five. I would say the average you're getting right now for this photo is a six. The line is sharp though. The C cup is sharp. Fade Junkie, he says Speedo. Bro, you gotta come through, man. Like, we. What's going on here? Okay. Alright, here's the next one. Alright, so right away, like, there's a whole lot of bulk right here. A whole lot of bulk. You really gotta, like. Hold on. Sorry guys, you really, you really gotta trust the system, bro. And you, 
you just you're not spreading your blend out enough like your guidelines are not are not there i literally give this one a three out of ten um what i would tell you is like especially in this section because i think you're starting your guideline too low when it's that low on the top you got to start your guideline like at least right here for a ball fade it won't look right otherwise so like you literally got to start your guideline up higher and then spread your blend out because the difference between a zero and this is probably a one and a half on top is not that much so you need that you need that spread so i hope that helps and that one got like a four all right what you guys think about this one lighting is terrible it's horrible there's not very much i can say about this cut it's it's very difficult to judge this cut by the lighting and the reason why i still kept this cut in here is because i want to point out guys we can't help you we can't help you unless you give better photos but i'm going to try anyways there's bulk here there's a line right here you could take this line out with like the zero guard if you need it I don't generally use the zero guard, so I usually use the, the the blade all the way open and use the corners to take those lines out. Um, the beard not being trimmed just makes the haircut look unfinished, in my opinion. But honestly, for you, it's, it's all about reps, repetition over everything. And my wife is super picky. She gave this one a three, while everybody else is giving like a four, four and a half. All right, what do you guys think about this one? So again, lighting is terrible, but this this blend looks pretty good. Right here, it looks like there's some bulk, right? What do you guys think? I think this right here looks like there's some bulk. Um, but like from here over, it's on point. From here back, uh, I don't know. Like you couldn't even see see the shadow right here against the wall. You could see scraggly hairs, like like stray hairs that he probably should have freehanded. Damn, babe, you gave it a six? Good. Sevens, five and a half. Fade Junkie said bad uh, blend placement. Okay. Yo, Fade Junkie, we're going to have to talk. You're going to have to elaborate more on, on uh, fade placements because I agree, bro. I think there is such thing as fade placements and nobody talks about that, right? The shape of the head determines where you place the fade. And and you should you should uh, you should be able to what's the word I'm looking for, babe? Help me out. Compliment somebody's head shape by where you place a fade, right? So we should have done that line lower. Yeah, I would say so. Whoa. Okay. So first of all, terrible picture, and you know, look, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna give you too much feedback. It's very it's this simple. Repetition. Watch more YouTube videos, put in the hours, put in the work, the same amount of hours that everybody on this live stream, myself, I put in, and you're going to get better. But I like I would literally have to start from scratch to give you to give you the type of um, the type of help I want to give you. Right. Um, it doesn't look horrible. It's not terrible. It's not like. But it's just not, it's obvious that you, that there's nothing that I can do to make you better if you're not making yourself better. So you need to give, you need to get in a thousand haircuts. Barber school, they say 300. I say it's a thousand. A thousand haircuts. And watch a bunch of YouTube video. But yeah, I'm rooting for you. SUNY Blends, I'm rooting for you. And like, big ups to you for, for posting, for, 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 for submitting your hair your haircut photo big up to you bro all right this is this guy's second picture that he was able to get on your haircuts my feedback but this haircut is not as good as the first haircut that um he submitted and i think it's texture the first haircut he submitted was fire but this is a different texture so the blend isn't bad what I noticed that happens with um, people who aren't used to this texture is the finishing, the finishing cut, right? So what I mean by finishing cut is you gotta lay this hair down. There shouldn't be like spiky hairs and straight hairs like this. You see this on the top, right? And I don't think this live stream does it justice. Like 
right here in this section over here in the cow there's a lot of fuzzy hairs and stuff you gotta finish the hair off better the blend is dope the lineup needs work obviously either you ball this out completely or you line this shadow up because there's hair there you gotta either ball that out and blend it or you got to line it up and that's the difference between a fade junkie for example and a, another barber like i know fade junkie would take the time to ball this out or put a nice line on it it's either or if you don't do it it's gonna look unfinished it's gonna look like you know three days after he got his hair cut right here i would either freehand it with the clipper or i would go with like a two guard or a three guard with the grain lay it down some more or even freehand it with scissors right lay it down add some products lay it down right here towards the hairline I would lower it down to like a two guard with the grain or one and a half with the grain and that'll that'll um that'll really yeah that'll really give a crisp line like like Faye Junkie said just now you gotta commit it absolutely absolutely all right cool so here's the next haircut and you know this haircut this is a simple haircut in my opinion I don't think you overdid it I think you didn't need to dip this down on the lineup I would have kept that as natural as possible let me see if I, do you guys see the lineup now? Yeah, you guys can see it. I feel like it was dipped, it was dipped a little too much. You see what I'm saying, like how it's curved down? I would've left that natural, man. Left that as natural as possible. And it was just shaved up to the, I don't really like to shave it up. Usually where, where the, um, the, the hair starts, the curvature of the head starts to happen, I usually like to come off off the blend. Um, people aren't liking this haircut. I'm letting you know right now. So far, the ratings are not good. Um, also, there you go. Don't chase the beard line. Thank you, Matt Gifted Hands, for saying that. That's something I preach like crazy. Don't chase the beard line. You're going to lower the beard line more than, than the individual wants. And what he doesn't know is if you give him a chance, a couple weeks, he might be able to grow his beard up to here. Or if you use the razor and you get close enough, you might be able to give him a nice line. Man. Um, other than that, I don't see lines and stuff like that. I just think you went up. You didn't need to shave him all the way up. So. What about the back of the head? You can see it. In the you can see darkness there, but he has the mirror there. I like how he took the photo so we can see the back. It might be lighting as to why it's so dark here. I don't think it's because he left bulk. So. Keep grinding, bro. All right, again, lighting is, is not that good, but we can see enough, right? There's a little bit of bulk right here. And this is like this is like the Andes Masters halfway open. Go up about a quarter inch and you'll take that little bit of bulk out, right? Um, it looks okay over here. Over here is like a two guard close or the one open a little bit. This part could have been a lot straighter. And if you're gonna give him a hard part and you're gonna line up everything, you gotta line this up, bro. You gotta clean that up a little bit better. Either that or leave more length and then comb it over towards this direction, away from the part, right? Does that make sense? So, it looks like this one's getting like a, a average of a, a three or a four rating. And guys, we're not doing this, again, we're not doing this for ratings, right? We're doing this to help you. I'm just letting you know what your rating is so that you could resubmit your photo, you know, a few months from now and bring that three up or that four up to an eight or a nine or a 10, right? Let's get competitive with this. Like, no, everybody don't deserve trophies, right? That's not what this is about. We're being honest. We're willing to learn. I'm willing to learn. You should be willing to learn. That's what this is about. Somebody said not bad. He's 15. That's, yo. That's another thing. We don't know these guys' ages. He's, this guy's 15 years old. That's that's really... Yo, Malik, I'm glad you pointed that out, bro. Leek the barber. Leek's the, the barber. That's Malik, by the way. I'm glad you pointed that out. The man is 15 years old. That's Look, look at me. You're 15 years old. Daniel Yates, 11. You're 15, bro. You're doing great, bro. Like, you are above the competition right now. Keep doing what you do. By the time you're 18 and you're ready to go to barber school, <laughs> good luck to everybody else, right? <laughs> right? 
For real. For real. Okay, this is clean. This looks like hair fiber. Yo, are you still on here? Um, Faye Junkie, you still on here? Faye Junkie's the hair fiber master. Yo, somebody said my oldest son is 15. He can't even cut paper. <laughs> Yo, Leek. Malik is hilarious. My man said my... <laughs> Alright, Fade Junkie is the hair fiber fucking, like, genius. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'll cut that out. But, yo, Fade Junkie, he says it is. He says it's hair fiber. I think so, too. But, nonetheless, it's a dope cut. I think it could have been sharp. The curve right here, the arch could have been a little bit sharper. A little bit cleaner of an arch. The blend looks good. It looks like over here it gets a little bit skippy, a little bit patchy. You can see a little bit of darkness right here. But the angle's good for this. Babe, you gave it an 8? Damn, girl. Okay. See you, girl. Alright, so we're getting seven and a half. We're getting eight. Fade Junkie said you sprayed it too close. So that means you the pump that you sprayed the fibers on, you got a little bit too close. Yo, if you guys have not seen Fade Junkie's video on my YouTube channel, where he does his fiber work, it is it's, it's very impressive very impressive so we got a six we got seven and a half i'm gonna say the average score is a seven on this haircut so good job bro that's 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 great horrible horrible photo um you know what i would tell you is like i told everybody else is just repetitions practice we're not gonna spend a lot of time on this much love i love you bro like i don't i'm not hating on you it's just come on it's the the photo isn't it i just can't the only thing I can tell you is more practice and you're going to be a beast. Because I don't see a lot of lines. I really don't. Alright. On to this one. Let's go ahead and zoom into this one. What do you guys think about this one? Somebody says, is this a prison cut child? <laughs> Alright, so he says, just kidding. All right, so what do you, what, what's the rating on this one? We got a six. Okay, four. Okay. Okay, somebody said not terrible. We got a six. Right now, your average is a five, bro. A, a five and a six. Oh, the, the, the wife gave you a seven, and she is, she's harsh. Right now, your average jumped up to a six, bro. That's good. All right, so look, this is what I would say. I would say... It's hard for me to like haircuts that are suit, that are blended higher towards the hairline and lower towards the back because the back is always going to have a little bit more of a darker tone right towards the back because that's where the dips and everything that's where the shape of the head gets funny. Um, I would say also like like the beard you have to compensate for the light areas right so like right here it's super light. You gotta, you gotta lighten this up right here. Lighten this up and match this so it'll actually look fuller. Cause leaving this strip right here so dark, first of all, you show how light this area is, but you also like show how light this area is. If you match this all the way through, it will look fuller. Um, it's obviously like an undercut. You definitely disconnected it here. So it's not horrible. And if you're going to line up the hairline, I would wet it slightly. Not damp it. Not like super wet. But wet it just slightly. Comb it towards the direction it wants to go and touch it up. Because a little bit of stray hairs that are hanging over the hairline that you could have made a little bit sharper. So those are my tips. On to the next one. Alright, so it's not bad. It's not bad. There's no lines, but it's not finished right. Okay, you got the steps, but it's not finished right. The shaver or the razor right here would have made this a lot closer. The C cup would have been a lot sharper with the razor. Um, right here, right here, like, you just got to add a little bit more curvature. You could make this a little bit sharper, this corner, right? Um, you got to over direct a little bit more. Because see, you see how this part is longer than this part? It shouldn't really be that way, like... If you over direct this, it should be like an even playing field all the way through here. See all this? See where my arrow's going? 
everything above my arrow should be cut off. See that? You found my arrow. Everything above it should be cut off. And you found the curvature of the head. So hopefully that helps, man. The taper's not bad. You know, you got your steps. Reps for you all day. Reps. Great foundation. Yeah, Matt Gifted Hands said it best. Alright, so this angle obviously is, I feel like it's hiding the bulk that's down here. You're having trouble getting rid of that zero line. Okay, you got to go up higher with your clipper closed. Go up higher with your clipper closed, and if you still have this little bit of line, use the corners, of whatever you use to put this line in, let's say it's the trimmers. Use the corners of the trimmers and get that, get that little bit of line out, right? It's not that hard, but you guys are so scared you're going to raise the blend up that you won't do it. And I'm telling you, it helps, right? A little bit of straight hairs right here. Um, The lineup isn't bad. The beard could have been better. You you chase the beard too much. And I can tell because it's, it's low here. And there's a little bit of a hump right here where you try to keep it a little bit higher. And then you curved it. So, hope that helps, man. All right, what do you guys think about this one? All right, so this is obviously a hard texture of hair to cut, but the blend could have been better, obviously. Could have got it tighter on the sides unless he asked you not to. The lineup could have been sharper, and it looks like his lineup has been pushed back for a very long time. I'm not talking about you pushed it back. I'm talking about it is like, it's like there's scarring, like there's bruising. From it being pushed back so long. You guys see that? That darkness? It starts about right here. See that? And then his hairline's right here. Oh, it's a self cut. Wow. I, I'm just seeing the caption. Alright, bro, you're pushing yourself back. It's not a terrible self cut. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen a lot worse in self cuts. You can't see. Look, whoops. Let me see if I can, it, let me see if, if zooming in matters. What the heck? All right, now do you see it? See that bruising like that? His hairline's over here. Do you see it now? Louis DeBarber said, "Put me in, coach." <laughs> got to brush that texture while you fade it. Yeah, you got to brush it a lot. For sure. All right. On to the next one. All right. So, I think that you went up a little too high. This area looks like a one open. I think you brought it up too high because you can see a disconnect between the bulk on the top and where the one and a half is. I think you should have stopped at the one and a half about right here. Then above it should have been a two and then a three and you would have been blended a lot nicer into the bulk of the hair. But like from here down, it's a nice fade. No, you can't say the bald is too high because some people like high bald fades. You can't say that the bald is too high. I hate when people say that, yo, you faded up too high. Can't say that. Some people like really high bald fades. But you can leave it a little bit darker in this space and still do a high bald fade while making it look like there's a better transition into long hair on the top. I hope that makes sense. But that's a nice, yo, that's, that's, it's not that bad. So what do y'all give it? Y'all give, I give it, I give that a six, a six, a six and a half, six. Somebody said a seven. There you go. There you go. All right, on to the next one. Let's zoom, let's zoom in because I can't really can't really see the photo as good as I would like to. All right, what do you guys think about this? So I think he went too far in with the curvature. It probably could have been over here, right? When you go too far into the curvature, you you get rid of the taper. So if you would have curved it in a little bit more, like over here. You would have seen more of the taper. You get what I'm saying? Um, the part could have been done better. 
it goes kind of like I don't know it just looks kind of funny to me I feel like like either you commit to a curved line but a squiggly line doesn't really look that good it's not a horrible haircut I'm just you know I'm giving you tips to get better right here in this area probably the one guard closed and then opening it up to a hat one open would have would have blended this part a little bit better okay on to the next one Jay Anthony all right so he did his thing with that yo my man got a mean tan line which doesn't help I have never been a fan of sideburns like this I think it's too dark what do you guys think I think it's too dark I like to do like probably the the blade halfway open right blend it in um I think you kept the net I think you kept the, the C cup too natural for the ball the type of fade that you gave him um it's like too natural and then right here it would have been the one open for me about like a quarter inch more up it would have looked better so you're getting about a five on average from what I see what I'm seeing on Instagram live stream okay Looks like their sideburns are floating. He said. Yeah, you, he's getting about a five, which ain't bad, bro. You got a great foundation. Keep 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 dropping. Alright, so the blend on this one is dope. The blend on this one is dope. My problem with this one is the lineup is not good. The lineup is like you didn't need to try to give him a C cup. You could have just balded that out. This could have been a tighter. If you would have got this tighter, literally with the Andy's T outliners or Maybe he doesn't want the ball in the machine, but the Andy's T outline is at least like flip that thing over and get it tighter. Would have been way nicer. Don't don't force no C cup on him. The lineup just ain't there, bro. Work on your line your lining. But your blend is is on point. The blend is on point. This lineup is just And I'm being hard on you because it's so much harder, in my opinion, to put a nice blend on somebody than it is a nice lineup. And this lineup just ain't matching the blend, and it kind of shocks me. But you're getting a, like a six and a half, a six. People are vote like people are loving the cut. So big ups to you. All right, on to the next one. This is a nice one. What do you guys think about this one? So a little bit of bulk back here, but like from here over, it looks good. He put the C cup on him. Curvature could have been a little bit better, the arch. But this ain't a bad cut. Okay. Maybe I'm I'm blind and people are seeing things different because somebody gave it a five. Somebody said good cut. Oh, seven. A five. Seven and a half. Bro, you okay. You doing your thing. Alright, so on average you getting a seven, bro, which is phenomenal. Okay. Yo, you got two. How'd you get two pictures on here, man? All right. So I'm moving on to the next one. Because you got two pictures in. And it's the same It's the same advice I would give you. The, the same advice I gave you on the last one, I'm giving you on this one. Repetition. All right. So we're on to this one. Bro, it looks like you, you, you kind of cut him in the past. Or he cut himself in the past. C cup could have definitely been sharper. That's with a razor. Right here is the half. Using the half, <sighs> the corner of the half right here in this section. Probably the zero guard or the one closed would have cleaned this up a lot better. Um, and then I feel like with a with a man bun, don't leave it so bulky in this section. Like the whole point is to give separation between the sides and the man bun. So like I would have brought at least a two open all the way up to the top. To be honest with you. Yeah, like yeah, people are agreeing with me. They're saying too much weight on the on the back. I agree. All right, Manny the barber. I think we're almost done, but I could be wrong. So this is tough hair because it's light and it's blonde. The first thing that catches my eye right away is the bangs, man. Number one, I'm not giving no dude no bangs like this, like. If he comes to me with bangs, I'm going to at least cut it down. Cut this down to a 1. Cut this down to a 1 and the lineup will look a lot sharper. 
Like there shouldn't be no fuzzy stuff popping out of his forehead. Um, but like if it, if he's starting from me, I'm gonna leave this natural and I'm gonna let it comb back. And I'm just gonna clean whatever crazy low hairs he has below his hairline, right? The cut isn't bad though. The blend ain't bad. The C cup is nice. Blending the beard a little bit more, right? All right, so here's the next one. This ain't bad. This is this is definitely the one open. Go up a little bit higher with the one open. The one open is still a little bit darker. And then right below where you left out the one open, do the one close and you'll have a nicer transition. But you get the whole fade placement thing, right? Complimenting the head shape and, and, and all that. You get it. The C cup um, could have come out a little bit sharper with the razor or whatever. And that C cup would have been mean. But I like the texture you put on top. It looks good. So, yeah, everybody's agreeing. It's too tight. The blend needs more. more uh, God damn it, bro. Sorry, guys. I was getting a phone call. All right. So, right off the bat, the first thing that I noticed, and I might be weird. The first thing I noticed was this. Did anybody else notice that right away? Maybe I'm crazy, but I noticed it right away. And the reason why you have that problem is you're not making sure that you go against the grain. Go against the grain, especially around the calc area. Go different directions if you have to. The blended is, isn't so bad. Back here, I could tell it was probably hard as hell because he has a lot of loose skin, a lot of um, indents and stuff. Um, it's not that bad though. Like the blend in this section isn't too bad. This is probably like a two or one and a half on the top. So, on to the next one. The wife gave it a three. Alright, so this one, bro, like, listen. Just go right back to the basics. Go to my first videos on my YouTube channel and go straight to the basics. Learn, learn your guidelines. Learn your numbers. You know, just repetition and cut this guy's hair a thousand times. Alright, so like in the live stream it doesn't do it justice, but the blend is nice on here. Lineup could have been better. I probably would have brought the, the 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 zero all the way up here and then balled it out real nice with the shaver. Um and you would still got a nice a nice blend. Okay. Alright, on to this one. Let's zoom in. My man is showing us the app he uses for photoshopping. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> ah! This is a nice cut. I like it. I think you did a great job. Nice, nice um, natural hairline. The blend is good. Love the texture on the top. It looks good. I think this is a dope cut. I can't really, you know, I can't give you too much critique because I think it's a dope cut. I would have probably tried to get it closer right here where the C cup is. So like the C cup is non-existent because you can see a little bit of a shadow. But it's not a bad cut, bro. Alright, so this one is a design. I commit to the fade. If you're going to fade, if you're going to blend inside of a design, commit to it. The blending needs work. I could tell if you did a fade and not a design, um, you would struggle with a fade. Just because the fade inside of the design needs work. Make your lines sharper, straighter, right? Commit to your lines. And honestly, with a design, design like this, the space between the hair, the hairs would make it pop a little bit more. And then like with the stars, for example, they you want to make sure that they're linear, right? So if you're going to make a straight line, pretend this line goes straight, right? Pretend this line goes straight, right? Whoops. Pretend this line goes straight, like this, boom. Pretend that this line goes straight. And this is where you messed up, because that line don't go straight. You gave you gave it like a skinny skinny leg right here. All right, on to the next one. All right, this is blurry as hell. This right here is blurry, like I can't even see. It's like looking at the sun. This is like looking at, what's very blurry, babe? Your vision. My vision. This is like me looking with no glasses. It's it's like it's dumb blurry. Dumb blurry. This is blurry as hell. Let me zoom in. Like yo. 
that is that and the texture of hair that he you that he cut the texture of hair that he cut like i'm happy right now because this is dumb blurry like yo this is blurry bruh bruh this is a fire fade look at the c cup bro Why are you giving them bad they're hating this look at the c cup is not like pushed in like i i be seeing people give a nice blend nice c cup but when you see them do a c cup they do the c cup like this way but like all the way from the ear here and then and the c cup is obviously gonna look nice but like once it grows back in it's gonna look crazy this is fire hot lava hot freaking lava my only issue with this haircut this is me being dumb picky this is me being dumb picky this right here my man got a cliff right here my man got a cliff right here i think you should compliment the shape of his head there's no reason for a square box spongebob head right here no reason for it freehand if you need to curve that thing but this blend is so blurry so congrats to you conversant fades fire best fade of the night so far all right, man. I'm sorry for everybody that got to follow up after that. Because he's getting tens. On the Instagram live stream, he's getting tens. And we got 64 people on this live stream. All right, so on to the next one. Bro, honestly, it's all about reps and, like, just keep doing whatever you're doing right now. The fact that you're on this YouTube channel and, and you're submitting your photos and you're following along, you're going to get better. Um, but the best advice I could give you is not nitpick this haircut. It's tell you to keep pushing, keep grinding, hit a thousand haircuts, and I guarantee you, you're gonna be a beast. All right, what do you guys think about this one? Because I'm like, ah, it could have been spread out better. It doesn't look horrible, but it could have been spread out better, right? Like, I think this will pass in a barbershop, people. Like, this guy was probably happy with his haircut, but me looking at it and i guarantee you from 10 feet away it looks even more compressed the blend the blend looks even more compressed from 10 feet away so yeah he's getting fives across the board right now on instagram live stream instagram live stream is giving him fives but people are saying it'll pass all right that's blurry that is dumb blurry and then you get here where everybody struggles right here see the back see that line right there that darkness bro from here here fire freaking haircut like fire and then i could already tell if you show me the back we're gonna have a problem the back is there's something wrong with the back so i'm gonna give it a six a six and a half a seven maybe that's not an eight babe look at the back from here over, it looks great. But, like, I guarantee you, from the back... What if it's just the lighting? Yo, I'm a hater right now, because everybody's giving him eights and nines. What if it's just the lighting? It's not, that is definitely not lighting. 100%, 100% positive, that is not lighting. Babe, that's not lighting. Look at this. And here's why I'm so harsh. Because from here over, it's freaking fire it's fire from here over and then bro i know you better than this bro i know there's no reason for you to have this right here this big ass line this big ass gash i'm being hard on you because i know you're a beast straight up all right yeah nope that's hair exactly bro i'm not even look look at the picture that got sent I can't, like, I love you. I don't know whose picture this is. I love you and I feel for you. And you've probably been waiting a long time for me to um, give you feedback. But how could I give you feedback? Like, you're, like, this, like, I literally am probably going to get a comment from this picture right here. Like, a hate message. Like, I want to kill you type message. But, like, guys, can you fault me? How can I give feedback to this? And I love you, bro. Please resubmit a photo, a better one. I'm gonna even try to zoom in. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Look how looks how look how pixelated that is though. You can't see anything. 
All right, man. So I'm, I'm going to skip that one. All right, on to the next one. So right here, probably um, the blade open about a court, about one notch open would have took this little bit of line out. The one guard open would have took a little bit of this, this, a little bit of this bulk. Not a lot of bulk, but a little bit of the bulk out. I think overall it's a, it's a decent haircut. It would pass in the barbershop for sure. Not bad. He's getting sixes across the board. On Instagram Live, they're giving him sixes. Somebody's being different and they're giving they're even giving grade grades right now. Somebody said a C minus. And my, my wife is a hater. She gave a five. Oh my god, yo. That was the last one, guys. That's it. That's the last one. Yo, yeah, here cuz my feedback. I think this is number 20. Is it number 20? No. This is number 11. Yeah, here cuz my feedback number 11 or 12, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I hope you guys like it. Yeah, here cuz my feedback. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was good. I had a lot of fun. I yo, like 